Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. How's it going today, people? Good evening, teacher. Bye. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. How is everybody doing? Are you okay at this moment? Excellent. Excellent teacher. Excellent teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Welcome everyone for today's class. I appreciate on your punctuality to be here in the video conference. For today, we have really important information we're going to cover. And before we get into that info, let me look for my document and we can get started with the attendance. Right, I will check on attendance at this moment and I need your collaboration with the microphones, please, so your classmates can listen properly when I call their names. Please, please, please. Thank you. All right, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, let me get started at this moment with the information for the attendance. Let's see, Carlos Luis Serbano. Carlos Luis Serbano. Sorry, not at this time. Carlos Roberto Nerio. Carlos Roberto Nerio. I will continue. Ever Alexander Cabrera. Ever Alexander Cabrera. I continue. Let's see. Francisco Isaac Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Ever. Thank you for your confirmation. Thank you, thank you. Gabriel Esther Ponce. Present. Thank you. Georgina Ivania Guzman. Georgina Ivania. Right, I continue. Uh, Senaida Sterle Gonzalez. Senaida Sterle. Right, I continue. Guadalupe Lisset Soriano. Present. Thank you so much. Yvonne Melina Avilés. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Natalie Carrillo. Jacqueline Natalie. Right, I continue. Jose Luis Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Moises Chavarria. Present. Thank you. Jose Roberto Ruiz Duarte. Jose Roberto. Right, I continue. Jose Roberto Vázquez Jiménez. Jose Roberto Vázquez Jiménez. Right, I continue. Juan Francisco González. Present teacher. Perfect. Thank you so much. Julio Cesar Hernandez, probably not available. Karina Yvonne Linares. Present. Thank you so much. Carla Mercedes Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Lisette Esmeralda Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Lucila Patricia Quinteros. Present. Thank you. Madeline Lisette Montalban. Present. Margarita Lisette Medina. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Marvin Alberto Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Milagro de Los Ángeles Pérez. Present. Thank you. Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Roxana Patricia López. Present. Thank you, thank you. Sara Analda Guzmán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Senia Patricia Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jancy Maria Jacobo. I guess she's not at this moment. And Yesenia Elizabeth Morales. Present, teacher. Thank you, thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much, people, for your confirmation for today's practice. Just uh, before we get started on today's class, just a reminder for uh, the work in the platform that we have. Please, please, please. I know some of you are already working and I noticed that one. So I appreciate all your collaboration on that one. I noticed on that. Some people are, are still working on the platform, so that's nice. Some people are already finished and that's perfect. If you have the chance, try to complete the information this week, please. I guess there was a notification for today, if I am not mistaken, about the information for the classes. So please, 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 please get into information, get into working on that, right? El anuncio publicitario del día de hoy, igual eh, creo que hemos recibido un mensaje en el grupo de WhatsApp eh, informando que ya estamos prontos a terminar el curso. Recuérdense que ya nos queda solo la otra semana, pero eh, el curso nosotros lo debemos completar, en este caso la plataforma, antes de que finalicemos el curso. Algunos ya están en la unidad 4, otros en unidad 5, eso así que eso es muy bueno. Les quería eh, solicitar de favor, si es posible, para este fin de semana, lunes que yo hago la actualización, ya tener toda la plataforma completa. Eso sería bueno para ustedes porque nos ayuda en el proceso que tenemos que continuar, ¿verdad? Para la inscripción del nuevo módulo. Así que si usted puede completar este fin de, créeme que apreciaría mucho su colaboración con ese dato, right? Let me see. Déjenme por aquí, check on the info, please, please, please. Okay, let's see. For today, people. Session number 12 for the beginner level, module one. Let me check on this one. We're going to begin working with some vocabulary at this moment, and we're going to be working at this moment with telling the time, right? That is something important that we can express on some information. As you can see on this picture, we can uh, mention the information about the time in two different forms, like the form we know, you mentioned the, the hours, and then you mentioned the minutes. For example, at this time, right, talking about the real time, at this moment is 8.08 p.m. Talking about the time, 8.08. That is the normal form that we know how to say at the time. But as you can see on this one, when we go from one minute to 29 minutes, Right, or to 30 minutes, you can say, for example, past five, uh, fa five past, 10 past, quarter past, 25 past, 25, 20, 25 past, and half past. It is possible to say after, five after, five after 10. For example, at this moment, it is nine after eight. At talking about the time, nine after eight. And you go in that way with the numbers and with the quantities uh, that, that are after the given time. When you go for 31 minutes to 59, the expression changes. You can mention at this moment, if you see here, you say 25 to, right, 25 to one. Or at this moment, 20 to two, a quarter to two, 10 to 2 and 5 to 2 or 5 to or 5 to 6 or 5 to 8. That is the other form in which we can express time, right? Similar to Spanish. In Spanish, we have like two different forms to express the time. Recordemos que en español tenemos dos formas igualmente de mencionar la hora. Lo mencionamos tal cual hora y minutos. Por ejemplo, yo les podría decir en este momento son las 8 y 10 minutos. Tal vez eh, existe otra forma que por lo menos yo no utilizo mucho, pero existe que diga son 10 minutos después de las 8. Esa es otra forma de expresar 
el tiempo, ¿verdad? Y podemos utilizar este tipo de expresiones que usted ve en pantalla. El past, as you can see here, el past lo utilizamos del minuto 1 hasta el minuto 30. Ya cuando pasa el 31 es como decir, faltan tantos minutos para las 8. ¿Verdad? Esa es la, la forma en que lo utilizamos. Past, in this case, is more like the British, the British form to express the idea. In the American way, probably we say five after. El past o el after lo podemos utilizar, eh, como les decía, de los minutos 1 al, 20, 1 al 30. Nada más que el after es quizás el más común en el contexto americano. El past, en este caso, sería como más británico, pero si usted lo escucha, es bueno que conozca y sepa la diferencia de las dos expresiones, porque puede ser que usted lo escuche con past o de repente lo escuche con after, pero ahí está la diferencia de cómo utilizar esta información. At this moment, let's, to, let's look at the example. I have the question. What time is it? What time is it? Right? What time is it? Is it? Remember on the link in is town. It? Is it? Exactly. Right? Recordando ahí el uso de la unión de sonidos. No hacemos pausa entre las dos palabras. Lo que decimos, en lugar de decir is it, haciendo una pausa, hacemos unión de sonidos. Linking sound. Is it? Is it? What time is it? What time is it? And in that form, we sound more natural when we speak on ideas in the English language. Take a look at this one. This is the first example. What time is it? I can mention the information as, uh, as in, the, let's say, the normal way or the most common. It's 1.50, right? That is reporting on the time, 1.50. The other form, uh, just, hello, I need your collaboration, please, with the microphone. Check on the microphone, people, please, please, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you. As in this one, uh, the most common way, it's 1.50, talking about the time. But it's also to use the other form. And in this case, we can say it's 10 to 4. Right? It's 10 to 4. That is the other alternative when you talk about time. That is the other form to express it. Take a look at the next one. And in this one, we are going to participate and I'm going to be asking some people to work on this activity. At this moment, I need the collaboration of, let me see on the people who are here connected. Oh, I need the collaboration of Milagro de los Angeles. Milagro, tell me, what time is it? The first one, the normal time. La primera instrucción del tiempo, Miss Milagro, Sería tal cual, mencionando la hora y los minutos. Sería como la forma más común o normal que nosotros, que les comentaba anteriormente. Tell me, Milagro, what time is it? Hello, hello, Milagro. I am collaboration teacher. Oh, just give me a second. Give me a second on this one. Let me see on her. Give me a second. Four, four past eight minutes. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Miss Milagro, what happened, Milagro? Probably not available. All right. I will go back. Can you tell it one more? Can you say it one more time, please? I guess it was Juan Francisco, right? Talking on this one. Can you repeat the time, please? Four past eight. Four in the picture? Four oh seven. Four oh seven. Thank you. That's fine. Thank you. Thank oh, you sorry, for the help. Seven. Exactly. It's four oh seven. All right. Thank you so much. 407. No problem. Thank you, Milagro. Thank you so much. Are you ready to participate? Ready? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now, 
we're talking about the time based on the picture at this moment. As you can see in this one, we're talking about that it is 407. What is the other form to report on the time? It is four oh seven. All right, but what is the other form, Miss Milagro? The, there is other form. Existe otra forma de mencionar la hora. Esta es la forma como más común mencionando la hora y después los minutos. Ahora necesito la otra versión en donde mencionamos los minutos que pasan de la hora. All right. What is the version, Miss Milagro? It is seven mm -hmm. to four. Seven to four. No, there is other word. El tú lo utilizamos cuando nos faltan ciertos minutos para llegar a la hora. Aquí cuando recién pasó la hojita de la hora, utilizamos otra expresión. Mm, past four. All right, thank you so much. It is possible to say past. In this one, I included after. Yo utilicé after porque es la versión, como les mencionaba al inicio, eh, la más común en este caso como americano, ¿verdad? It's seven after four. Thank you so much, Miss Milagro. Well done, well done. Take a look at the next one. And I need the collaboration at this moment of, let's see, Miss Madeline Lisette. I need your collaboration. What time is it, Madeline? Okay. Sería en este caso, it's um, night um, 24. Right, thank you so much. It's eight. Check on the pronunciation of the number eight. Right? All right, let me see. Eight. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 my, my bad. Number nine, sorry. Creí que era ocho, but don't worry. It's nine. You are correct. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. It's nine. It's nine twenty-four. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Let's see, Marvin Alberto. I need the other version for this time. Mm. ¿Cuál otra versión se me fue? When you mentioned the minutes and then the hour. Eat 24 exactly. after nine. Perfect, perfect, Marvin. It's 24 after nine. Thank you so much. Check on the next one. I have more practice for you. Tell me, Miss. Uh, let's see. Miss Lisette Esmeralda. Miss Lisette Esmeralda, what time is it? Check on the microphone. Check on the microphone, please. Thank you. I see. Me escucha? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Now. Ah, okay. It is by Thursday. Five thirty. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. That's fine. It's okay. five thirty. Thank you so much. Now I need the collaboration of let's see of Lucila Patricia, Miss Lucila Patricia. What is the other version to report this time? Hi. It's 30 after 5. 30 after 5. All right. In this case, when you talk about the 30 minutes, you say half, right? Half, half after 5. That should be the okay. expression in this one, right? Como decir medio. Right? No, no mencionamos tal cual 30, right? It's 5.30 or the other is half after 5. Take a look at the next one. I need everybody's collaboration at this moment. Tell me, what time is it? The first version, hours and minutes. What time is it, people? It is 7. It is 7. 25. Excellent. It's 7.25. Now I need the other version to report on the time. What is the other version? Is it... 25. 25. 25. 
Exactly. Thank you. 25 after 7. Thank you so much. What time is it, people? It is 46. 46. 46. 46. Thank you. It's 3.46. Nice, nice, nice. 3.46. What is the other version? What time is it? It's 46. It's 14. It's 46. It's 46. It's Remember on this one, people, when you talk about the first 30 minutes, it's possible to say after. For 31 minutes to 59, you use a different structure, right? In this one, it's better to say it's 16 to 4. To 4. Recuérdese que del minuto 31, ya no utilizamos la expresión after. ¿verdad? En el minuto 1 al 30, decimos como pasan, 10 minutos, o en este caso, o por darle un ejemplo, pasan 20 minutos de las 8. En that case, it's 20 after 8. Ahí sí. Pero cuando ya va del minuto 31, ya no utilizamos after, sino que utilizamos tal cual como en inglés, faltan mm -hmm. tantos minutos para las 4. En this case, it's 16 to 4. ¿Vale? Porque cabal faltan 16 minutos para que se llegue a la hora de las cuatro. Entonces, ahí sí ya no utilizamos el after. No reportamos no son 16, after. Teacher, solo que ahí sería 14. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, you're right. Let me change on that one. Yes, sorry. Yes, 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 14. All right, let me go back to the slides. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. Good observation. Thank you, thank you. See. Right. It's 14 to 4. Yeah, no, no problem. Fix, right? Hagan de cuenta y caso que no ocurría eso, right? It's 14 to 4. That is what you mentioned, right? But in this case, remember, after is not used after minute 31. Después del minuto, ya cuando entramos al minuto 31, Ya no utilizamos el after, sino que utilizamos la expresión to, que hace referencia a cuántos minutos faltan para que se cumpla la hora. Right? Right. Now, take a look at this one. After checking on some vocabulary, we check on the present continuous WH questions. How do we use this structure? We use it to talk about actions happening at the moment of speaking, right? Something that is in progress. At this moment, you are listening to the instruction, right? At this moment, you are using the computer. At this moment, you are using your cell phone. Those are actions that are happening at this moment. And remember the structure is similar to the previous one we used in when we were reporting information about the, the, the clothing, right? Clothing items. Remember it is almost similar to that one. We have the subject, the verb be, depending on the person, the verb in ing, and then we have a complement. Take a look at this example that I have for you. Right? He is doing an action at this moment. Right? And we can report he is playing the guitar. That is what the person is doing at this moment. He is playing the guitar, right? An action in progress at this moment. Remember in this one, we have a combination of two verbs, the verb to be and one action verb in the ing form. Take a look at this one. That is to report something in the affirmative way. We can also create questions. If you remember yesterday we practiced, is Carlos wearing a jacket? No, he isn't. In that case, we were talking about uh, describing the clothing items. But it is possible also to talk about the information that they are doing. 
All right. For example, take a look at this one. Is he, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. What's happened to this one? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Computer. Sorry, 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 people. Give me a second. Computer, respond, please. All right. Now I guess it's better. <clears throat> All right. Sorry for the inconvenience. Here we have the info. Sorry. All right. At this one, as I was telling you, we can create a question. Take a look at this one. Is he eating dinner? What do you think, people? Is he eating dinner at this moment in the illustration? No, no. he's not. No, he's not. No, no. no, no he's, not. he's not. Excellent. No, he's not. Right? That is the information that you have. And I have that contract here for. No, he isn't. What is he doing? People, what is he doing? He is watching he TV. He is watching TV. TV. He is exactly. watching TV. Perfect. Or Mm -hmm. He is watching television. All right, watching television or watching TV, no problem. Thank you so much. And then we respond on the answer. What is he doing? Is he watch? He is watching TV. In that case, you ask for an information question, right? The first one is a yes no question, asking for confirmation. Take a look at the next one. Tell me, is he sleeping? No, he is. No, he's not. Oh, no, no, he's not. No, he's not. What no, he's is he not. doing? No. He's playing football. He's, he's, he's playing soccer. Playing for... soccer. Right. soccer. Soccer, exactly. In this case, when we refer to football, we talk to American football. Right? In this case, it is soccer. He's playing soccer. Thank you so much. Take a look at the next one. Is she using the computer? No, she's uh, not. No, she no, isn't. No, she isn't. What is she doing? She's driving. She is she is driving a car. Driving exactly. a car. She is driving a car. Perfect. She is driving a car. If you want to be very specific, you can say she is drifting. She is drifting mm -hmm. in the car, right? Like like fast and furious. She's drifting. More yes. specific, right? Excellent. Thank you. Take a look at this one. Is she is she studying English? No. No, no, she is not. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. No, she isn't, right? Tell me, what is she doing? She's a dancing. Dancing. She's a dancing. Right, thank you. She is dancing. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. At this moment, we are going to begin with a speaking practice. What are we going to do? We are going to work in groups and we are going to create questions. Let me see. All right. We check on questions at this moment. And we are going to do something similar to this exercise. The difference is that we are going to be asking for information for people in the house, right? We're going to pretend and we're going to imagine the information, right? For example, I am going to ask, let me see, I am going to work on, with somebody to express ideas at this moment. Let me see. I choose on Margarita, Margarita Lisette. Let's do an exercise, Margarita. I am going to ask you a question and you respond to me. Le voy a preguntar acerca de algún familiar y aunque la persona no esté en el hogar o tal vez si yo le pregunto si su hermana está haciendo algo y me dice, teacher, pero yo no tengo hermana. Invénteselo <risas> solo por cuestiones de práctica, ¿verdad? Yo okay. le voy a preguntar similar como hicimos en el ejercicio. All right. Margarita. Is your sister washing the dishes? No, she is not. No, she's not. What is she doing? She is sleeping. She's sleeping. Thank you so much. You see? Perfect. We respond in a negative form to the first question. So we practice 
yes, no questions. And then we include an information question. Well done, Margarita. I ask another person to continue practicing. Let's see, Francisco Isaac. Francisco Isaac Sanchez at this moment. Hello, hello, Francisco. Hello. <clears throat> All right, perfect. Listen to the question. Is your best friend playing soccer at this moment? No, he's not. No, he's not. What is he doing? He's, uh, he's dancing. Oh, interesting. He's dancing. Thank you so much. Perfect. For, thank you so much for the info. Miss Carla Mercedes Hernandez. Tell me, Miss Carla, is your brother cleaning the house at this moment? <laughs> no, he's not. Oh, my goodness. What is he doing? Uh, he is sleeping. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> he's sleeping. Thank you so much. Jacqueline, I have a question for you, Jacqueline. Miss Jacqueline, hello, hello. Yeah. All right, the question, Miss Jacqueline, is your father working at this moment? No, he is not. All right, what is he doing? Sleeping. He is sleeping. He is sleeping. Thank you so much. Perfect. And thank you so much for the complete answer. You see, people, this is what we do at this moment. We create a just no question asking for information about any person. You respond in a negative form. And then you include the information question. What is he or what is she doing, right? That is the way we're going to work. En este momento vamos a trabajar de esa forma. Recuerde, las preguntas no son directas. No le va a preguntar a su compañero, are you watching TV? No es directa la información. Vamos a pretender que preguntamos por alguien más, ¿verdad? Y para eso lo vamos a hacer de tal forma así, verbal. Y se inventa usted una persona, puede preguntar acerca de su hermano, hermana, primo, papá, mamá. Aunque la persona no esté en su casa, por cuestiones de práctica, usted respóndale que no e invéntese una actividad. Así seguimos con la práctica. Usted puede preguntar por su mejor amigo, por, uh, por su jefe. Imagínese, is your boss working? Y está tu jefe trabajando en este momento. No, he's not, right? What is he doing? Ah, he's watching TV. And you express ideas like that, right? Sienta la libertad de preguntar por quién usted crea y la persona le va a responder en negativo para que usted después le dé apertura y haga una pregunta de información. What is he doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? Y de ahí nosotros reportamos la información. Try to be creative on this one and try to give as many details as possible. Is there any question about what we do at this moment? Questions about the activity? All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right, at this moment, we get into working and remember to ask the questions and I will be checking on you to give you feedback if necessary. All right, let me see at this moment. Let's get into business. Thank you so much. <laughs>
¿Y ahora? Ah, hoy sí, hoy sí. Um, sí, sería este, what is your daughter? Is doing, no, what? What's daughter? Is doing. Ese, ese es. Hija. Ah. Ajá. Eh. No, she's not. Y ahí qué pregunta. No, sería, sería. What is he doing? No. Hello, hello, how are you doing? ¿Cómo vamos con la práctica? Por oh, ahí, bueno. por ahí, ok. Sí, en este caso, teacher, eh, Dígame. Bueno, yo creo que me chivole ahí. Este, para preguntar, primero le voy a, le voy a decir, is your, is your daughter playing? Ajá, exacto. Sí, exacto. Usted, usted le sugiere como una actividad que alguien está haciendo, ¿verdad? Así como usted tal cual lo hizo en este momento. Is your daughter playing? Se le está preguntando si su, la hija de ella está jugando. Y como por la práctica, ella le va a responder siempre que no, ¿verdad? A lo que usted le diga. Pero el objetivo es que practiquemos. Yes, no questions, que sería la primera que formulamos. Y le responde, no, she is not. Y a continuación, Mr. Francisco, la segunda pregunta sería, what is she doing? ¿Y qué está haciendo? Esa es la pregunta que hacemos después. Esa siempre va a ser con el verbo doing, ¿vale? What is she doing? En la primera usted tiene que pensar qué acción cree que está haciendo la persona. Ahí sí como que tenemos que ser creativos y cambiar la expresión, ¿verdad? Is your daughter eating? Is your daughter watching TV? Is your daughter uh, playing at this moment? Is your daughter taking a shower? ¿Vale? Ahí variamos la expresión. Cuando ya lleguemos a la segunda pregunta, what is she doing? Ahí va a ser el turno de Ivonne de reportar una acción que, ella, que la hija está haciendo, right? Se llama, ah, my daughter is, y ahí agrega usted eh, la expresión o la acción que usted quiera, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. o sea que la de esa forma sería. La pregunta sería, what is you doing? No, what is she? ¿Qué está haciendo ella? Porque seguimos con la secuencia, porque usted le preguntó por la hija, la ¿verdad? Hija. Exacto. Entonces, primero confirma si la hija está haciendo algo, ella le va a decir que no. Y como le dijo que no, a usted le interesa saber qué está haciendo esa persona. ¿verdad? What is she doing? ¿Y ¿Qué está haciendo? Y ahí Ivonne le va a reportar la acción que está en progreso. Y así vamos a ir alternando. Right? Do it one more time. I want to listen to you. Quiero escucharles. Volvamos a hacerlo, please. Okay. Well, sí. I, I voy. <laughs> Vaya, sería, eh, what is she doing? Flying? No, she's not. What is doing? What is she doing? What is, what is she doing? Uh -huh. My daughter, daughter, ¿cómo se dice? Daughter. Is, my daughter. daughter. My daughter is uh, playing. My daughter is playing. Is playing. Exactly. My daughter thank is playing. Uh -huh. Exactly. Thank you so much. Continue with the practice uh, and continue. Remember the first one is a yes, no question. Recuerdense que la primera es una yes, no question y el orden es verbo to be, la persona por quien usted desea averiguar, ¿verdad? Is, my, is your brother, is your sister, is your father, is your best friend. A continuación el verbo en ing para reportar una acción, ¿verdad? Is your brother listening to music? Ah, esa sería mi pregunta. Y de ahí, negación y después... What is he doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? Ya yeah, reportamos. All right. Thank you. Continue with the practice, people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Vamos a ver. Eh, ¿Ya se terminó? No, no, no. No, no. Yeah, I I enter. Enter. <laughs> I, I am busy. <laughs> thing. Es, ay, como me invento este. Creo que el profesor me pone nervioso. No, no don't worry. Pensar. No, don't worry. <laughs> I, I will cover my face. Yes, me, voy a, me voy a tapar los ojos para, que, para no ponerlo nerviosa. Right? No problem. Eh, <laughs> las, las mismas que hizo. Eh, right, is, is your brother, uh, is your brother in his sleeping? Uh, no, he's not. Uh, what is he doing? Uh, he's uh, playing soccer. Excellent, mm. perfect. Well done. This morning, this morning. 
Así es, Sara. Ya ves, Sara, perfecto, lo hicimos perfecto, lo hicimos muy bien. Así vamos a seguir con el ejercicio. El reto es para cada uno, siempre vamos a agregar una acción en ING, ¿verdad? El, el, que, el que inicia preguntando, eh, piensa en algún conocido, un familiar genérico, ¿verdad? Papá, mamá, hijo, hijo, amigo, y preguntamos por una acción para confirmar si la persona la está haciendo, así como usted lo hizo, ¿verdad? Is your brother sleeping? ¿Eh? Si él está durmiendo. Siempre la respuesta sería negativa, por cuestión de práctica, aunque sea realidad, tal vez en la persona sí lo está haciendo, pero por práctica siempre decimos en negación, no he isn't or no she isn't. ¿Cuál es el objetivo? Que el compañero después le pregunte uno, what is he or what is she doing? ¿Va? Que le pregunte, ¿qué está haciendo? Lo que nos interesa saber qué está haciendo esa persona. Y de ahí el otro responde tal cual como lo hizo José y reportaba la información en ING. Right? Perfect. Continúen, lo están haciendo muy bien. Thank you, okay. thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Perfect. Thank you so much. Pregúnteme, José. Ok. Eh... Google. Ahí viene. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ajá, ahí sí, ajá. Ah, es que lo estaba muy invocando. Ay, sí. Oh, my goodness. ¿Y sí? Ya ve, algo presentía yo. Estaba muy invocándolo. Sí, dígame, sí, dígame. Dos, tres, ya aparece y por gusto no aparecía. Imagínese. No sé, sí, as, dígame, dígame. ¿Cómo se formula la, la primera pregunta? Es lo que uh -huh. no, no nos, no sé si estamos equivocadas o no. Entonces, vale. eso es lo que queríamos confirmar preguntar. en este momento. No uh -huh, hay problema. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Déjeme así. De, let me check on this one. Déjeme, le voy a proyectar la, la diapositiva para que lo tengamos tal vez eh, más sí, inmediato. Sí, por favor, por favor, right? por favor. Right? Eso estaba en, eh, in, in this picture, right? The first uh -huh. is going to be a yes, no question. La primera va a ser okay. una yes, no question. ¿Cómo la iniciamos? Okay. Con el verbo to be. Oh. Is he or is she? Ese pronombre usted lo puede cambiar por alguien en específico. Is your brother, is your sister, is your best friend, cualquiera el que usted quiera, por quien usted quiera. Preguntar. Pero sí sería, perdón, perdón, ¿Cómo? perdón, sí sería, is your brother, por ejemplo, no importa que sea your brother. No, o sea, en eso ese es lo caso que no. Me estaba, con, ah, me estaba exacto. equivocando. Exacto. Eso es lo que me estaba. Perfecto, comprendo su interrogante. En este caso, por el posesivo. Ahí recordamos uh -huh. que hablamos de una persona que digamos, llamémosle Juanito, ¿verdad? Porque uh -huh. estamos haciendo la referencia de Juanito. Pero ¿quién, ¿quién es Juanito en relación a la persona, digamos, con Carla? Entonces Juanito uh -huh. es el hermano de ella. Entonces usted le pregunta, es... ¿y está tu hermano comiendo, cenando en este momento? Entonces, eh, en sí nos estamos refiriendo a Juanito, que es el hermano, pero el, el adjetivo posesivo de George, ajá, exacto, es como tu hermano, ¿verdad? No es, la pregunta mm, no es directa, okay. sino que okay, nada más okay. estamos agregando información de quién es el hermano, ¿verdad? El hermano suyo. Por eso utilizamos okay. el your, pero no es que sea la pregunta directa, como diciendo, y usted está cenando, ¿verdad? Sino que, uh -huh, uh -huh. exacto, ¿verdad? Okay, ahí, okay, ahí puede okay. variar, ¿verdad? Is your sister watching TV? Is your best friend talking by phone? ¿Verdad? Usted, se, eh, usted incluye la acción. The next one, oh, okay. a negative answer, ¿verdad? Right? Siempre oh. en la primera vamos a reporter, responder de forma negativa. Que no. Uh -huh. Ajá, que no, ¿verdad? E independientemente lo está haciendo, usted respóndale que no. No, he isn't. Para formular no, la isn't. siguiente pregunta que Exacto. sería, what, what is he doing? Exactly, exactly. Así le damos la oportunidad al compañero que también reporte. What is he doing? And in that, in that case, You report. Y en la segunda, ¿verdad? Como ahí sí preguntamos, ¿qué está haciendo esta persona? Ahí usted uh -huh. ya incluye otro verbo y reporta algo que la persona esté haciendo, ¿verdad? Aunque sea ficticio, pero lo agregamos, ¿right? Así okay. como está en el ejemplo. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, Thank you. My pleasure. Now I want to listen to you. Ahora quiero escucharles, aunque sea una participación. Please, please, please. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, is your father... Playing football? Mm -hmm. No, he isn't. What is he doing? He's um, he's dancing. All right, thank you. Perfect, excellent. Thank you. Le agarra por la noche baila. Excellent, that's fine. <laughs> to relieve stress. No, 
para, para sacar el estrés, ya vean que esa es relax, 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 relax. relax. Le agarro relax. igual que a mí. Excelente. Ah, nice, 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 nice. All right, thank you. Well done, ladies. Lo estamos haciendo muy bien. Ahora sigamos formulando preguntas y practicando la estructura. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. My pleasure. Ya terminó. No, no, no. Ah, oh, no, todavía no. Ay, I, am, I am watching you. I am watching you. I am listening to you. Ya ven, hasta utilizando la estructura del progresivo. Las estoy viendo y les estoy escuchando. Continue, please. Okay. Is, your, is your boyfriend um, cooking in... in no sé si sería ahí en su casa, en your house. In your house, cooking in your house. No, uh -huh. he's not. <laughs> in, in no, he's mom, not. He's not. <laughs> no. invent, es invent. Yeah, no problem, no problem. No, eh, no. Entonces no, le pregunto, what is he doing? What is, what, what is, is he doing? Ah, entonces, what is he doing? What is he doing? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is he doing? La respuesta que quiero ver sería Irisa. No, he is. He is. He is. Y el ING de la acción que está realizando. Iris in. Con el verbo de bañar y que estábamos viendo. Ah, ah, okay. <risa> no, pero yo no, que no tenía. No. <risa> Ahorita no sé qué está haciendo. Invent. watching TV, probably. Uh -huh. O tomando leche. Dry is, he's uh, drinking. Uh, he's drinking. Milk. It's moment, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh, in this moment. It's he's possible. drinking. Uh -huh. He's drinking wine. Uh -huh. He's his moment is drinking. <laughs> He's drinking. All right. We don't know what. Drinking. No sabemos Why? qué, pero dice que está tomando. Esperemos que haya un juguito, ¿verdad? Un juguito. All right. A juice. juice. Si, si fuera vino, teacher, sería wine. Wine, exactly. Wine. He's drinking wine. Uh -huh. His moment. In this moment, my goodness. And he's not inviting us. Y no, no nos está invitando, es lo peor. That's the problem. That's the problem. Right? Okay, ladies. Continue working hard. Continue asking questions and reporting on information. Thank you so much. Gracias. Okay, teacher. Entonces, la siguiente. Ahora se me pregunta. A uno y me daba malo. Okay. Teacher. Hello, hello, how are you doing? Continue practice. Yes, I want to listen to you, please. I want to listen and give you feedback if necessary. Hmm? Okay. Seneida, uh, is your mother cooking in this time? No, she is not. What is she doing? She, she is dancing. Dancing, excellent. Dancing. <laughs> wow, perfect, perfect. And we need an invitation for that one. We need an invitation for dancing. Because at this, <laughs> at this moment, only your mother is dancing, right? We want to practice. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Well done. Is there any question at this moment about the structure? Uh, not yet, teacher. Not yet. All right, perfect. For the moment, is, I don't know, Seneida, uh -huh, have Seneida? a question. Any questions? Mm, mm, no, no. Not really, okay? Continue practicing, right? That thank is you. going to help us a lot. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Yes, yes. Reading a... Reading a... Um, Big. Sorry, sorry, repeat. Is he okay. reading a big montando la bicicleta? Uh -huh, riding. Uh -huh. Riding. Uh -huh. Thank you so riding much. Riding a bike. Riding a bike. Bike. 
uh -huh. a riding bike. A bike. Exactly. Uh -huh. Is he riding a bike? Mm -hmm. No, he is not. A bike. Mm -hmm. What he is doing? Uh, he is studying. Ah, he is studying. Okay. Excellent. Is he roaming? Uh -huh. Is he running? running. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, he is Corriendo. not. Uh -huh. Running. Mm -hmm. no, what he is he doing? He is doing the homework. He's doing the homework. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much. Just double check okay. on the question on the WH question, right? Remember the elements. What is, what is he doing, right? Or you can create the question with a co contraction. What's, what's he doing? What's okay. he doing? It's possible, right? The two okay. versions Teacher. are okay. Con contracción o sin contracción. Entonces, se, puede, se puede decir de, de las dos formas. Claro, claro. What is doing uh -huh. o what is. En este caso, si hacemos la contracción, si hacemos la contracción, Miss Madeline, ya no necesitamos agregar el verbo to be aparte. ¿Verdad? Podremos decir forma completa, what is he doing. O la otra versión con contracción sería What's he doing? Right? Ya no es necesario decir What's is he doing? Okay. Porque si no sería como Perfect. duplicar el verbo to be. La is unida a la what. Al what, exacto. Al what. Ya es el verbo to be unido okay. ahí. Ya no necesitamos Uniendo la is después. o separando. O separado, exacto. Okay. Exacto, cualquiera de las dos Perfect. es viable. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, people. At this Thank moment... You. We return to the main room. Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for the time in the practice. I appreciate your effort really much. I was checking on you and I was happy to help some of you. Remember on the question structures, that is an important element when we create questions, all right? At this moment, and because of time, let me check on the attendance for the last time of the night, right? If you incorporated, tell me present if you're here, all right? Let's see, Carlos Luis Urbano. Carlos Luis Cervano, not at this moment. Carlos Roberto Nerio. Present teacher. Thank you. Ever Alexander Cabrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Isaac Sanchez. Francisco Isaac Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Gabriel Esther Ponce. Present. Thank you. Uh, Georgina Ivania Guzmán. Present. Thank you. Uh, Zeneid Esther de González. Present. Thank you. Guadalupe Lisset Soriano. Guadalupe Lisset. Right, continue. Ivone Melina Avilés. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Natalie Carrillo. Present. Thank you. Jose Luis Gómez Guevara. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Moises Paz Chavarría. Present. Thank you. Jose Roberto Ruiz. I continue. Jose Roberto Vasquez. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you. Karina Yvonne Linares. Present. Thank you. Carla Mercedes Hernández. Present. Thank you. Lisette Esmeralda Tobar. 
Present teacher. Thank you so much. Lucila Patricia Quinteros. Present. Thank you. Madeline Lisette Montalban. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Margarita Lisette Medina. Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Alberto Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you. Milagro de Los Ángeles Pérez. Present. Thank you. Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Roxana Patricia López de Anzora. Present. Thank you so much. Eh, Miss Sara Nalda Guzmán. Present teacher. All right, thank you so much. Senia Patricia Hernández. I hear teacher. Thank you so much. Jancy Maria Jacobo. I guess not at this moment. And Miss Yesenia Elizabeth Morales. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, uh, just a reminder, please, please, please. Nada más, eh, les quitaré unos, un minutico antes de retirarnos, siempre para hacerles el recordatorio. Creo que la mayoría estaba aquí cuando lo hice, pero si no, los que se han eh, incorporado uh, durante la sesión, pedirles su colaboración para completar la plataforma. Recordando, el, la siguiente semana es ya nuestra última semana y si es posible, terminarle este fin de... Perfecto. A algunos ya solo les falta una unidad, así que ya estamos casi perfilados a finalizar. Si tiene dudas de la plataforma, puede escribir en el chat y a la medida de lo posible, por lo menos de mi parte, voy a tratar de contestarle lo más pronto posible. Y si no, pues ah, ahí espere mi respuesta, que ahí voy a, voy a hacer lo mejor para ayudarle y así podemos obtener un buen resultado. Recordarles también que la plataforma tiene, eh, pues se puede hacer diferentes intentos en ella, así que si a la primera no le salió bien la respuesta, vuelva a tratar. Ahí en la tarde estábamos discutiendo con unos compañeros y creo que expresando ideas y estamos tratando de ayudar con algunas respuestas. Así que si usted tiene duda, escríbame y si no, también nuestros compañeros, creo que la mayoría está pronto para colaborar y poder ayudarles. Así al final obtenemos un 100 en toda la plataforma porque es posible tenerlo. Así que les animo a eso. Igual algunos ya han avanzado, siguen progresando, pero la primera unidad como que ya no la han repasado. Entonces puede, le invito también a hacer una actualización y así llevar todo su puntaje y tenerlo listo, ¿verdad? Todo tenerlo al 100 para no tener, eh, primeramente para aprender, porque ese es el objetivo, que se aprenda el contenido. Y segundo, pues, para seguir gozando del beneficio de ser parte de esos cursos y, pues, usted seguir en su, en su, en su, cam en camino a su objetivo de dominar un segundo idioma, ¿ok? Así que les animo, yo sé que lo han hecho muy bien, han, han venido trabajando y les agradezco por tomar en cuenta mis sugerencias. Así que les pido una última colaboración para tratar de completar la plataforma lo más antes posible, ¿ok? El lunes les doy retroalimentación para ver cómo hemos progresado, si alguien terminó o si alguien todavía está en progreso y ayudarle si es necesario para que logremos sacar esa, ese compromiso de la plataforma. All right. It was a pleasure for me. And have a, see you tomorrow. No, right? Not Monday. Nah, Monday. Ah, people, come on. All right, nah, not tomorrow. Have a nice weekend. Tengan un bonito fin de semana and see you Monday. Take care. Cuídense. See you. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.